Hey guys, I am back with the seventh video of the video series on class 9 science motion and in this video we are going to learn about uniform circular motion and this is the last video of the video series on class 9 science motion. So let's get started. A body is said to be in uniform circular motion if it moves in a circular path with uniform acceleration. Right? So that means now circular motion as it says the body has to move along a circular path. But when I say uniform circular motion it means that the body is not only moving along a circular path but also moving with uniform acceleration. What is uniform acceleration? That means it is moving with a velocity which is constantly changing with time which is uniformly changing with time. Now, you, you will understand it better taking this example. Let us suppose if a person moves along this direction. What happens in this case? Let us suppose it moves with a constant speed and along the same direction. So in that case, your velocity is not changing with time. Now, let us suppose that the same person moves along a path like this. What will happen? As soon as he takes this turn, the direction has to change. So even though the magnitude of velocity remains the same, let us suppose the person was moving at 10 kilometers per hour. But as soon as he changes his direction, so the velocity changes. That means in this case, if he wants to travel, traverse this path, he has to change his direction four times. Now similarly, if he has to move in a path like this, so how many times he has to change? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times he has to change the direction. So the nine, nine times the velocity will change its direction. So now if you consider a circular path, what happens in case of a circular path? At every point, your velocity changes the direction. So at every point, the velocity changes its direction. That means your velocity is always changing with time and that is why we say that the body has a uniform acceleration, right? So that means throughout the entire circumference, the velocity keeps on changing its direction and we say that the velocity uniformly changes with time and thus the body has uniform acceleration. So such a body is said to be in uniform circular motion. So we will quickly take a small example of uh, such a motion. Let us suppose if you take a stone, tie it to a string and you start rotating it. What happens? The stone moves in the circular path. Let us suppose if this is your, the center of your thread, and this is the stone, it will move in a circular path like this. I mean, it is not exactly a circle. I'm showing the top view. So in this case, what happens? Let us suppose as soon as you leave this stone, you leave it, what will happen? The stone will move like this. It will uh, be thrown away in this direction. Similarly, when the stone is at this point, if at that point of time you leave it, the stone will be thrown away in this direction. It will be thrown outward. That means at every point of time, the stone by itself wants to move in this direction. At every point of time, the stone wants to move in this direction. But the only reason why it is moving along this direction is because of the force which is being exerted by the center. Because you are holding the thread with your fingers, so you are exerting a force because of which every time it moves, you know, so every time it moves towards the center. And that is how it traverses a circle. So as soon as you leave this force, as soon as this force is gone, it will move tangential. Right? So in case of a uniform circular motion, the direction of a velocity at every instant is tangential to the circle. So it is along a tangential direction. You know what is a tangential direction? What is tangent? Tangent is any line which touches the diameter of the circle exactly at one point. So this line is known as a tangent. You will study more about tangent in your mathematics classes. Right. So this was a brief about uniform circular motion. Uh, you will study in detail about uniform circular motion in your class 11th. In case you are interested to learn more about motion, you can refer the videos of physics class 11th where you can see detailed videos on motion in one dimension, two dimension, three dimensions as well as uniform circular motion. So as prescribed by your syllabus, I feel I tried to explain you as much as I could in motion. 
So see you all in the next lesson. I hope you found this video useful. In fact, I hope that you found this entire video series on class 9th science motion useful. Do let us know your feedback, your suggestions in the comment section. We will be eagerly waiting to hear from you. We also have a couple of crash course videos on physics. So the descriptions are given, the links are given in the description section. Please feel free to take a look at them. I will see you all very soon with the next lesson. So subscribe to our channel and be with us. Bye-bye.